Fairbanks residents gathered this afternoon at St. Matthew's Church to remember the many victims of unsolved homicides in the interior. Over 30 names were read by the event coordinator, Shirley Lee. Each person named was murdered and their deaths remain cold cases. The homicide that sparked it all was that of Sophie Sergi. Sergi was found dead 22 years ago on campus at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Her case remains open. City Mayor John Everhart and new Chief of Police Randall Aragon spoke at the event. The mayor touched on cold case files, including Mahogany Davis, whose case, he says, is currently being reviewed and intensified. Chief Aragon encouraged the public to support their new quest to start an unsolved homicide social media page and possibly hire more officers to work specifically on cold case murders. I not give up. And I've spoken to Chief Aragon about uh, what do we do to take a look at some of these cases again? And uh, we're moving in that direction. And, uh, got a couple of cases that I'm quite hopeful soon, after many years. Um, there'll be some uh, information that uh, may go toward finally resolving a couple of those cases. My detective looked at the list of all the unsolved cases. And he said, I, can, I, I think I could solve this one, this one, and this one, and this one, but we need the resources. Two new names were added to the list this year as well. Janessa Kemsky and Todd Nozel. Both were found murdered and their deaths are currently being investigated by Alaska State Troopers.